everyone. Uh, my name is Autumn. I'm Ashana, and we're really excited to talk to you guys about Generation Bitcoin, which is an organization that we started a few months ago uh, with the main goal of helping other young people get involved in the Bitcoin space. So as a bit of background, um, <laughs> Um, I got interested in Bitcoin in the summer of 2021 and I'm sort of leaning towards more, the more technical side. And so I've been going to the Chaincode Bitcoin Protocol Development Seminar. So shout out to everyone who runs that. And I've also been sort of looking into Bitcoin Core and I'd really like to thank um, Merch, Gloria and Andrew Chow for all their help in answering my numerous questions. Uh, like I said, I'm Autumn. Um, I got into Bitcoin last summer, and I'm really interested in the UX, UI side of Bitcoin. Uh, right now, I work for Ladies in Bitcoin, uh, founded by Sarah Satoshi, and um, I designed the interface, the user interface for Ashana's testnet wallet on Figma, and then I also just got, um, I just got accepted into Summer of Bitcoin, so I'm really excited to continue my UX um, journey there. Um, so a little bit, or like a good place to start is our mission and how it all started. So Ashana and I met at the New York City BitDevs meetup um, in September of last year, so shout out to them. They've been so helpful to like get us where we are today, so we love that team, we love the community, so shout out to them. Um, and so, we, yeah, we met there and we exchanged resources. We started learning about Bitcoin together. And then I met this other girl um, at a LARP and, uh, that Lisa Nygut uh, ran in the city. So shout out to her. And uh, then we kind of just formed this group of three girls that learn about Bitcoin. Um, and then as time went on, we realized there's no group out there or community for teens to learn about Bitcoin. And since we're the next generation inheriting this space, it's kind of important that we know something about it. And so that's kind of how Generation Bitcoin started. Um, and so to put simply, it's a community of teens that learn to contribute, um, that learn and contribute to the Bitcoin space. So I don't know if any of you know this, but we talked at the Miami Bitcoin conference in April and we uh, interviewed Elizabeth Stark. So it was an awesome opportunity. And um, from that exposure, we kind of got a flood of new members to our group and we kind of had to change the way our meetings were run. So right now we have, um, like during the week, we do our own uh, work. So we, we learn about the things that we're interested in and then we prepare for the online meetings where everything kind of really happens. And so on these online meetings, we discuss the reading, we ask questions. So like for example, a few weeks ago, um, we were looking into grokking Bitcoin and a few members were kind of confused on how transactions and wallets and public and private keys kind of all work together. And so we were all able to like put our heads together and really understand the concept. Um, and that was just like a really awesome discussion because it, we really felt like we were learning. Um, and then another thing is we have peer presentations. So this uh, just allows any member to talk about a certain topic like privacy or mining or um, any economic topic and they just are able to present and they can go really in depth to that one subject, talk about it um, and then it's just mutually beneficial for all parties. Um, then we have updates on projects. So as of right now, we have a very diverse group of teens that have a wide variety of skill sets. And so like uh, Ashana said before, um, she was working on a testnet wallet. So then I was designing the user interface. Um, and then another girl from our group is implementing my design. So when you have these skills, you can all work together on certain projects and really build something. And so that's what we hope to continue on doing. And as of right now, like on the online uh, sessions, we'll just update each other on this is the progress that we've made within this topic or, or project. Uh, and then lastly, we have breakout rooms where we dive into subgroups. And so the purpose for the subgroups is we understand that there's new people who don't know anything about Bitcoin. And then we also have people who are really nerdy about it and really have taken their time to go into it. And so by having these subgroups, it allows people to really go into what they want to learn in Bitcoin, since it's a very um, 
there's just so many aspects to Bitcoin. So it, it's just allowing everyone to dive into what they're actually interested in. Right, so as Autumn mentioned, our meetings are on Sundays and they're online, but uh, a lot of the work we do at Generation Bitcoin actually happens during the week. So the first and foremost, we read the material that we decided to read uh, during our meetings. So for example, this week our members are going through master the first two chapters of Mastering Bitcoin, which we just thought would be a really good introduction since we have a bunch of new members, as Autumn mentioned before. And basically here you can come up with any questions you have that you'd wanna, you know, posed to, to the rest of the group, or if the resource, you know, provoked you to, to do further research, then you could also do that and, you know, talk about it at the meeting. So we also have a really nice Discord server that a few of our members set up, and we have a bunch of channels for various different topics, but uh, we have conversations from things such as, you know, different programming languages and what skills people have to certain decisions that have been made by the Bitcoin community in the past. And, whether or not we agree with them. So we also work on projects. So Generation Bitcoin isn't really like a, an organization that will lead you step by step and tell you exactly every little detail that you need to do because Autumn and I are still figuring this out, right? Um, but what we, what we do want is self-motivated people and we do provide a community for you know, other people to learn and we can learn from each other. And if you wanna work on a project but maybe don't have a certain skill set. Uh, hopefully, one of our members can, can help you with that. We also prepare presentations. So as Autumn mentioned earlier, for example, a few months ago, I did a short, you know, Transactions 101. And I think that that really helped me to consolidate my knowledge on that. And of course, you know, helped other people learn about transactions. So some future events that we look forward to having are guest speakers. Thankfully, we've had some really awesome people reach out to us um, saying that they'd like to be guest speakers. And the way that this would work is we'd hop on a call with them. Either they would you know, have a resource in mind that we dive into, or they'd talk about you know, a specific topic, for example, the peer-to-peer -peer network. And we'd go into that and ask questions, comments, um, and just engage with the speaker. So we've also, we were talking to Nifty9 and D++, and they offered to do uh, hands-on workshops and LARPs with us, which we think would be a really great way to, to bring the community together. We'll also have student-led seminars. So these differ from, from the presentations because they're gonna be more in depth and maybe you know, might go over like a span of days and we'll be talking about multiple different resources. These are probably gonna be more in depth. So for example, we might do one on Taproot or wallets or if you wanna go even more detailed coin selection. Um, we also want to get more teens to come to conferences, such as this one. And uh, one conference that we've seen a lot of interest from is TabConf, which is going to happen in October. So we're really excited for that, and hopefully we'll get some of our members there. So uh, overall, Autumn and I are just really excited to continue developing our community. If you or anyone you know would be interested in joining us, you could go to genbitcoin.net, where we have a link that you can, you can just fill out a form and, and you'll be added to the Discord server. So uh, by the way, our website also has a bunch of really great resources and FAQs and it's completely open source. So uh, there's a link to the GitHub on the website. So if you think something's missing, um, an, an FAQ or a resource that you think really helped you out, you could open a pull request and we'll take a look at it. And if you would like to be a guest speaker or have any questions, you can also DM us on Twitter. But other than that, I thank you guys for your time. Uh, we'd love to take questions, but I think we're running low on time, so you can come find us afterwards. We're gonna be here tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, thank you guys.